Hello people on YouTube. Hey, welcome back. I've just popped into town. Got a new bike yesterday. Uh, didn't have the right hex key for the pedal attachment. So I've got, I think it's either a 6 and an 8. So just popped into town to get that hex bolt. Um, the set that I bought was actually around £8. They were cheaper sets, but they were all on the small side. I think they were too small. There's one at like £1.50, one at four. This one's got a larger set and I probably need it. It's always handy to have hex keys. Especially the ball end ones are good. So anyway, just heading back home. Just got what I needed. Kind of monster, hex keys. Good day out. Catch you later. Bye. Hello people, YouTube. Uh, welcome back. As you probably already know, I got a new bike. Um, yesterday so this is you probably tell by this it's a Boardman bike um, it's a it's a 9.6 SLR uh, it's just the caliper braked version I didn't get the disc I actually wanted to keep the weight down but this is the parts box that you get now here in the UK I'm going to try and do this one handed this car okay, it's getting away from it so there we go out there with you so these are like tyre covers um, but here in the UK um, bikes basically come as standard come with a bell I actually think they're actually putting this back on because it's it's good to just get a you know if you're cycling along there's somebody in front um, scheme it off there oh my god that's probably super loud but they, that comes as standard. You also get um, these things. Now, probably in here is the, the this is a back reflector. Now this wasn't fitted to the bike because the the dimensions of this don't really fit any part of the bike. It's got like a kind of a carbon aero style uh, tube seat tube, so they couldn't fit this on. This is the front reflector. Now the front reflector was on, also the bell was on. I've took the bell off, I took the reflector. It also came with these bad boys, some wheel reflectors, but when I took it out of the box, these rattled so much. So out with them. I'm gonna keep them. But basically what I did, this is the front reflector. Um and I took it off and then I thought about it and I went, okay, I'll keep it. Because you never know. And I thought to myself, right, I've just got this GoPro Hero 7 Black. I didn't go for the 8 because this was a little bit cheaper. And it's probably just going gonna, gonna to do me a good job. So, But this is the front reflector. Now, you can see there, those two holes. Uh, that reflector would have fitted on the front. So this would go on your handlebars. But what I did... Oh, I've not got the... I took a bit of plastic. It was an old phone case I had. I don't know if you can actually see it. But basically, this is the GoPro supplied uh, mount system. And it's got like a, like a sticky pad. So what I did, I cut out a bit of plastic, shaped it roughly to what I needed it. Uh, stuck it onto the, this pad. And then basically super glued the, the plastic part. Onto the bracket now, if you can, you can probably just see it. It's like an L shape. I was going to stick it, use this the, the sticky uh, adhesive. But I thought, I think it would be better if I can get a bit of plastic, stick it on there, then super glue this on. And it's probably actually starting to really dry out. It's probably getting a good bond now. But you can see there, it's like a little L shaped sort of bracket thing. And I super glued that on. And basically... That takes this. Oh god, I'm trying to try and do this one handed. This could go wrong. I'm gonna do it kinda of out of shot here. Ugh. Okay, I think I've got it nearly there. In fact that's it. So that's it clamped in. And basically I can go with my handlebars. I can also flip it round and have it underneath my handlebars. And I can go forward facing or I could actually go and turn it round and go back. 
because this bracket, I can take that bracket off and turn it without turning this part, this part here. And that will go on top of my handlebars and it will hold my GoPro. So I thought that was quite a good... If anybody out there has got a GoPro, you can actually buy these probably. It's just a... I say it's a cheap, cheap plastic reflector holder, but it fits your, your handlebar bracket perfect. And as I say, super glued that on. Onto the, the, the mount piece. A bit of plastic, super glued onto this bracket. I filed it down a little bit to get a nice smooth surface. Uh, super glued it, good as gold. So that's how to make a kind of rudimentary cheap GoPro holder without really breaking the bank. So keep a hold of this stuff because it's, I mean even this bell, you could probably, although that looks as if it's, you could probably could adapt that as well. You could cannibalise it and just take this part off and then utilise that for something. Uh, I say the one for the back, the frame size at the back doesn't really hold anything there, but you could possibly adapt that for something else and do the same thing, just file this part down, get the sticky pad, do the same thing with the plastic and super glue it on. You could also actually bolt it on and countersink the countersink the part that goes in, slides in here below this surface. You could do that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. This was just a quick tip. I'll probably put this in my vlog, maybe. I might even release it as a single video. But anyway, catch you later. Bye. Hello, people of YouTube. Make sure I'm not covering my... Ah. Oh. Well, it's been... This is maybe about two weeks since I was last out on my bike. In fact, it was... Ah, I moved my hand there. It's probably actually been two weeks and a day. Uh, I'll go over why I wasn't out. Um, I was out Friday. Well, that Friday two weeks ago. Two, two weeks and a day. Uh... And when I went back home that night, I went to my bed, and when I woke up, I can remember turning in the middle of the night, and I, I, could, I wrenched, I pulled my neck, oh, there's my, there's my little five to eight alarm, stop that, uh, and I kind of wrenched my neck a little bit, and really Saturday, I just, oh, it was pretty bad, I couldn't really move it. Sunday, again, it was still bad, but it wasn't as bad as what it was Saturday, so... I didn't go out, um, and really the rest of that week, can I remember, it got to Tuesday, Wednesday, my neck was still a little bit tender, but it wasn't as bad, and I was thinking ahead now, but one thing went to the other and I just didn't go, um, and then I was working that weekend, and I was back like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I've got the weekend off, so this is really, I have had opportunities in heading out before, but I just didn't. One thing led to the other, and it's a combination sometimes of the weather, but we've, had, we've been having some good spells here. Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's, I wouldn't really say it's cold this morning. It looks as if we may actually get a bit of rain, but it's a dark clouds over, over here. Uh, but yeah, I got a new bike. Got a GoPro as well. When I got the bike, I got a GoPro. I, got, I bought pedals as well. So... This is my first ride out in the new bike. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think I'll get some rattling. I think, I think this cable's sort of vibrating a little bit. But the bike is just unbelievable. Uh, my cyclocross bike weighed, I think it was about 11 kilograms, 11 plus, which is about, I think, 17 pounds. This bike's 7.9, but I don't know if the pedals are 220 grams, so I think that's excluding the pedals. It probably takes just over 8 kilograms, which is about 16 pounds, I think. Uh, big difference from a CX bike, and it just wants to fly. The CX bike, the cyclocross bike was good going across, like, not rugged terrain, but kind of off, kind of off-road off stuff. But when you get to the road, it's like, you know, you feel you've always got to be pedaling to get it going. But this just, 
once you get that 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 low gear, you just it just keeps going. It, it wants more, and it's so easy to keep it rolling. Um, I'll give you a look at the bike in a couple of minutes. But first first day out in it, I uh, did a little kind of sort of settle in. I actually went the same route. I wasn't going to go. I went out Maybole Road, and I was going to turn back and come back down Maybole Road. But I actually went the the, the, the cycle path that goes to Dunfoot, which is all weaves and it's not. It was a bit iffy, but I just went kind of slow speed. Uh, and when I got to the end, there's the option to go to the Carrick Hills, and I was. Oh, there's a duck taking off. That's a cormorant. Wow. Uh, my daughter will like that one. Oh, look, there's a fish jumped. Oh, sorry, there's a wee fish jumped. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so I, I got to do foot, and I actually. I've never actually felt like this before. I was, I was actually going to go the, the Carrick Hill route. Because uh, I've usually when I get there, I'm like, nah, nah, I, can't, I just can't do it. And I actually started cycling out, but the road surface, it's quite an old, old fashioned road, and it's quite, it's quite kind of open pores, if you could call it that. And it's really rough, and it's not good for, for maintaining speed. And I got out about, I don't know, it's probably a quarter of a mile, and I went, nah, I'm, this is too much. I think I'm. I think my expectations were, Ken. I think I was just a way ahead of myself. I said no, so I doubled back, came down the cycle path, which leads to this. Uh, I think this is a boating area. Uh, there's a lot of kind of ducks and swans and stuff. So I thought, no, I'll just cut it short and I'll have a rest and just take note. Don't want to push it too far. But yeah. The, bike's phenomenal it's just there's, there's such a big difference in speed because obviously cyclocross bike you've only got 11 gears with this bike you've got 22 gears so um, there's just a lot more range and it's just it's just a flying machine uh, I actually can't stop looking at it I, I got it um, it came on I think it was Thursday. Yeah, it came Thursday. Thursday afternoon. I just went to my work. Well, funny story about that. Um, I was meant to start at... I was actually meant to start at 1 o'clock. I thought I started at 12. And I popped in a shower, like I always do. And... I was washing. I was I was quite thorough. Well, usual, I'm thorough, but I was a little bit extra thorough. Gave my beard a double wash, my hair a double wash but I don't know why I did my hair twice because there's not really that much there but I did a double wash in the old facial and scalp and I came out and I started to get ready for my and I actually looked at the time and it's like I think it was 54 or something like that which is quite tight because I, I don't stay that far from my work uh, got my clothes on, went to my work I was actually, when I clocked in, I think it was 8 minutes past so I was actually awake got there and uh, one of my colleagues said, what are you doing? I went, uh, start at 12. He says, no, you're doing this one. I went, what? So I checked the, 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 the sheet, because we've got a sheet printed out, it says one. So I went and got, got a, a handheld device, which you can go in and see your schedule online. So I said, I'll double check that. If that says one o'clock, then I'm one o'clock. Check that, yep, it's one o'clock. So I just started early. I was there anyway, so... Um, but my bike came, I think, probably just after that, probably about 12 it came. Uh, so I got home that, that night, built up, there wasn't, there wasn't really much to build up, it's, it's, it's built up mostly. It's just the handlebars are turned to the side. Uh, and I went through it. Uh, the next day... Somebody up there really loves me because it was horrendous. It wasn't horrendous, it was just raining constant. Like a steady rainfall. Um, so, 
I didn't even get, I just kept, I, I brought my bike, I just kept looking at it and kind of wanting to go out, but it just didn't happen. Uh, so this is, I think the weekend's meant to be dry. It says cloudy with sunny spells, so there's a sunny spell just over there. I think we're going to get a bit of cloud. Hopefully there's no rain. Um, but yeah, this is the first time out on the bike. And it's got mud on it. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 a. Uh, in fact, I'll give you a wee up to it. Oh, so if I can get up, put my phone off because I'm just burning battery. Oh, oh man. Oh. So, I'll turn it round. So there it is. I've got it. Oh, I've got it on this super wide. I probably should have went to a different mode. But it's basically, it's got the Altegra DI2 uh, group set. Uh, it's all carbon. It's got semi-deep carbon rims, which are night. Corsa, I think it's G. What is it? Corsa G. It's got graphene in it, tyres. Um, carbon seat post. Physique F7 saddle. Quite nice actually, I'm really comfy, not having any problems with it. Uh, and I've got I got the caliper version. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble, I went to go on my bike, because I'm not used to having this gear set here, and I actually touched the gear and it, the chain came off. Didn't really get stuck, but it was kind of close. Uh, but that's the old... Uh, that's the old bike. And there's my, there's my name tag. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Just sit down again. Ugh. This is the, this is the kind of boating pond. You can see there the clouds, they look. I don't think it's going to rain. Head down the boating pond there. Really peaceful, really tranquil. Right, I don't need to cover my mic. So, oh, get back comfy. Oh, that's better. Oh, I know, I'm a bit slight shoulder. That's better. So yeah, that's the bike. Um, I may do a video a little bit better. Get the because uh, I've got this in super wide, I think, or super whatever it is. It's a it's a mode it's got. Uh, but I may do a better. It's a bike bike go over. But yeah, I'm out Saturday. This is what this second of November. So 2nd of November, uh, probably going to head back, I might actually go out later today if it's if it stays sunny, I might go back out, but I'll probably head back, I just want to get like a, an installation of the of the bike, just get it bedded in, see if there's any little niggles, as I say, I think these front cables are that one, I think that's what's, I might just bunch them up a little bit maybe. Um, but yeah, the GoPro is fantastic as well. Uh, I, I just got the, the Hero 7 because you were getting it a little bit cheaper. Uh, the Hero 8's just out. In fact, I did this when I bought my DJI Mavic Pro Platinum. I think I bought it and about probably two weeks later, the Mavic 2 came out. If I'd known at the time, Possibly, I would have got the Mavic 2 because I think the price point was very similar. Uh, but to be honest, uh, the Mavic Pro Platinum, it's it's a good drone. It's I don't have an issue with it. It's it's as good. Okay, the Mavic 2s get get more sensors and stuff, but um, it's one of those things. You end up you end up doing stuff. I always seem to do it. When I bought this, I knew I, I knew the the the, D, the DJI the the GoPro was coming out, but I'm not really that bothered to be honest. I just want something I can use and get hands on, and get stuff done. So I may actually do some footage going in. I might attach it to the the handlebars. Uh, 
I actually made you get um, ref reflectors. I took I took them all. You had reflectors on the wheels. They had one in the front with a bell. I took th those all off. You couldn't fit the one in the back because I think it was a the, the bracket. There's no bracket at the back to hold a, a reflector. Um, but I took them off. But the the front bracket for the 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 front reflectors perfect to attach my GoPro. I basically there's a sticky connector that you can stick on a surface or a helmet in fact I've actually got my helmet cam I could put on uh, I just taped it on but I'm I'm not really sure about it if I'm honest I might put it to my bike and do it do it that way get some footage but um yeah I stuck it on my I cut a, an old phone cover I had and just stuck it on and then cut round it and then super glued that onto the top of the bracket and it's absolutely perfect uh, so I've got that but yeah just gives me some more options I, I can get some footage uh, if I go out with my bike later today I might when I go home I might try different angles I can get and see what I can actually kind of get it hooked onto and stuff there's more cyclists uh, so basically, uh, the, oh God, the plan of action now is my, this is going to be my main road bike. And my Boardman CX, my cyclocross bike, my CX-7, I put on my, my thicker tyres. They're not really the tyres that I want. They're kind of like commuter tyres. They've got a bit of tread. They're 35C. So there's a bit more comfort in it. But I kind of really want to get like a, Almost like a gravel, sort of knobbly mud tyre, but not too knobbly, not like a, like a mountain bike knobbly, but just a nice kind of decent tyre that can kind of cover like road and a bit of loose dirt, but not like chunky knobbly stuff. Uh, and I'm going to put that on and that will become my, my kind of winter bike, comfort bike, uh, trail bike, that kind of thing. So it's quite good having the, having the two bikes because before I was like, if I was going to go at a trail, I would have to swap tyres and it's just a it's just a hassle really doing that. Anyway, I'm probably going to stop talking. I'm going to be bar to eat. What have I got? Let's have a little look. I actually stick these up my my cycle shorts, so it'll be nice and warm. Today we have chocolate fudge. Energy bar, slightly warm. Uh, it's got a little bend in the middle for aerodynamics. Look at that! Oh, dropped it. Right. Um, so I'm just gonna eat that, and I'm probably gonna head back in. As I say, I might just go home, get the bike checked, maybe give it a little wipe down, uh, and just assess, assess, assess the damage. It's, I've not really done it. The only thing that came off was that the, the front chain stay, but. I might look into getting a chain stay protector at the back, like a foam or something, and maybe a a chain catcher at the front for that reason. Uh, but yeah, it's I don't think it's going to be. It's just down over. Oh, got a got a message. My wife. Done on the way home. Might pop to Lidl for breakfast. What do you want? Well, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, I might, as I say, I might get some B-roll footage. So I might set that up on the bike. I could put it in my helmet, but I'm a bit... I don't know that. Well, no, it's... I might look at an alternative way of getting this down without destroying the helmet. Anyway. Bye. Eh... Uh, quick update. <laughs> I have the attachment, right? I don't have the, the housing for the, the GoPro, so... <laughs> I'm not going to get much footage. Uh, so, yeah. As I say, it's, it looks pretty good. It actually works. It works decent. But as I say, I don't have the housing, so... <sighs> I need to remember the next time to have the, the housing element of the GoPro. So... Anyway, well, quick update. Over and out. Bye.